Welcome to Trailer Fits Toolbox again. Wonderful little uh, workshop manual I have for the 300 TDI. This is full of helpful hints and all the information that you actually need to rebuild an engine in a very basic and technical format. This manual will be a technical supplement to Land Rover vehicles that have the 300 TDI engine fitted. Generally, I get most of the data out here for the uh, 300 TDI engine. It's got everything you need in it, cylinder head sequences. To be honest with you, it's the only reference that's needed to get data for uh, rebuilding, overhauling an engine or gearbox. The specific manual that I'm working from is published by Brooklyn Books. The publication number for this manual is LRL0070ENG. It's also available on PDF. I don't know about you, but I actually prefer a hard copy paperback. Brooklyn Publications you can find on the Paddock website, and the link is below in the description of this video. I found something here that was quite interesting and it's worth showing you, which is uh, on page 68, and uh, it shows you how to measure your cylinder bore by using a piston with the piston rings removed. Okay, so here's the diagram here. And uh, yeah, basically what it is, is using a feeler gauge, the piston skirt at the part where it's not worn in a certain position to uh, measure to see whether you need a rebore on your cylinder block or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, read this out to you so you know what it says. Starting with number one piston, invert piston, and with arrow on piston cram pointing towards rear of cylinder block, insert piston into number one cylinder bore until bottom of skirt is 30 millimeter from top of bore. Using feeler gauges, check clearance between left hand side of piston and cylinder bore, which should be 0 0.075 of a millimeter, which is 0 0.07 of a mil viewed from the front of cylinder block, full stop. Repeat above procedures for remaining pistons. If piston to cylinder bore clearance for any piston exceeds figure given, cylinder block must be rebored. Fairly simple and straightforward instructions. All right, um, piston rings, when you take them out, quite often you'll find that there is uh, fair bit of carbon in there. All right, I had the uh, misfortune of quite a few times of actually snapping the second ring because this happens to be uh, thinner. All right. Now watch this. Pull it and it snaps. Yep, just like that. All right, be aware of this they do because they are quite brittle. All is not lost however. This becomes a very handy tool for removing the carbon in the piston ring grooves as such and you can see how much carbon is coming out from here. Once it's clean you can then fit another set of rings or your original piston rings back in there and uh, measure the ring gaps to see if they're alright and within tolerance. You can then go ahead and glaze bust the bores before fitting the piston back into place as such. <laughs> 